My name is Andrew Morrison and I sing and play guitar with the Jerry Cats. since we were 10 years old, just jamming out in the garage. And then uh, Nancy joined the band about six years ago. And we started to kind of switch from playing cover songs and rock and roll and punk rock and stuff to kind of looking around our community and seeing where we could gain inspiration from. And there's lots of complicated stuff. And so we kind of sing songs of our community. So we're a, a folk band, I guess, in that, in that uh, use of the term, but we're a very kind of a loud folk band say that. So yeah, and then that's it. We started to experiment uh, bringing throat singing into everything and it's been uh, very cool and it's kind of brought us all over the world which is interesting. So yeah, that's a bit about that. is definitely a barrier we had lots of experiences of people saying I really like what you sound like but because you don't speak in English or they, they, they because they couldn't understand what we were saying they would kind of not uh, want to formally work together so but we're trying to challenge that there's lots of young artists where we come from that sing in language and uh, we want to make sure that they have every opportunity to share their music all over the world and be proud to sing their language we see it as a strength and not necessarily a weakness and I think that that's something that uh, it's challenging, it's not, we face that pressure all the time, but we're finding ways to navigate that and be able to still sing in English, I mean still sing in language and function in an English dominant world. Uh, Northern Lights, or in Inuit you know, we call it Okilk, uh, which means winter, is kind of a love, love song. Um, and, and it's kind of about being out in the cold and making sure that you're dressed warm and um, that you are making or making sure you're taking care of your loved ones, etc. And 
and there's like throat singing mixed into it, and it's it's a I would say it's a catch song. Um, anything more you can say about it? It's in my head right now when you say <laughs> it's a catchy song. Yeah, it's uh, there's lots of different elements to it, and we you just have to hear it. I think, and we it's about struggles in life and how when you lose someone you love it can be very very challenging but where we live there's so much beauty still within the land but also the community and i think that that's what we're trying to get out the message that for young people that life sucks sometimes but there is still lots of beauty around you all the time and you should tap into that or try to tap into that when you're feeling really down and so we it means many things and especially when we're working in two different languages they have it has lots of different meanings so but that's a little bit of it it's lots of we're trying to share the beauty of our hometown with people up north but also all over the world so that's uh, a little bit about that too so we live in a place called Iqaluit, uh, which is the capital city of uh, Nunavut which is a territory in, in the far north of Canada and right now uh, I would say it's pretty cold, minus 48 maybe, <laughs> yeah. and it's covered in snow at the moment, but it's, it's a great little city to live in just because we have a lot more things to do compared to smaller communities um, in, in Nunavut, and there's lots of opportunity to play music in different venues, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a place to kind of meet new friends and just gather together and create music whenever we pl play in Australia and try to explain to people where we're from we get some very shocked looking faces and we always often flip it around because they say it's so cold and so dark and so light and how do you do it and then we kind of say when we're sweating it's plus 40 here we're like how do you live here <laughs> but uh, it's so I think that humans are so adaptable we can adapt to our surroundings and we live in a town, it's a small town, and it has every element of a small town. The community, everybody knows each other. We support each other when times are hard and when, and there's lots of also negative things about a small town. It's hard to kind of see the bigger picture in the bigger world sometimes, but we love living there and we'll raise our kids there and it's changing fast and it's an uh, indigenous community that's shaped by colonization, just like lots of places in Australia, like everywhere in Australia. and. Uh, so there's lots of struggles within that and lots of people really working to figure out ways for non-indigenous and indigenous communities to understand each other better and there's often lots of challenges that come out of that and we're just part of that and we love living there and we love to kind of contribute to making it a better place. I always just like to add that we're very grateful to be here in Australia and it's literally across the world. We traveled on planes for 45 hours to get here waiting in airports and we're just so thankful to get in touch with the communities across Australia and I think that what's happening in Canada is non-indigenous and indigenous communities are learning about the past and learning about history and uh, learning about how things are kind of challenging these days and also learning how to understand each other better and I just am very grateful to be part of that conversation in Australia because I think it's an important thing that's happening here too. Throat singing traditionally was a friendly competition, so mostly women did it just because men would be out hunting for months at a time. And so it's kind of a, two women would be singing and you create sounds, um, exact same sounds overlapping each other by a little bit and you create a completely new sound. And a lot of the songs imitate uh, the sounds of nature uh, where we live. and. The, the type that I do is more of a contemporary style of it, so uh, it's kind of blend, blended into the modern music. And yeah, you create sounds using your voice, your, your throat for the guttural sounds, and a lot of um, breathing in and out very fast, and different breathing techniques that you use. It is, it can get, um, you know, it, it's hard when you start to throat sing for the first time, but once you it for a while it's it, it becomes uh, much easier to do it's like like I always say it's like callousing your fingers so when you're a guitar player in the beginning it hurts but then you get over it you don't feel pain anymore so yeah that's throat singing 101 for you <laughs>